With Philippine Air Force acquisition of multi-role fighters now in the final stage, let's take a look on the option that Philippine Air Force can go for the aerial refueling. Currently the Philippine Air Force is not in need of any air refueling tanker aircraft, since all of its current air assets do not have aerial refueling capability. Here are two different types of air-to-air -air refueling systems in use, probe and drogue and the flyable boom. Since Philippine Air Force selected F-16 Viper for its multi-role fighters program, it is logical that they need the flying boom system. The F-16 Viper, as well as its older fighting Falcon variants, uses the flying boom method. The cheapest aerial refueling option is for the POF to acquire used and refurbished Lockheed KC-130H-T Hercules heavy tactical transport tanker aircraft from US stocks. But, this option is limited only to probe and drogue, which not compatible with standard F-16 Viper configuration. However, going for F-16 Vipers doesn't mean aerial tankers with probe and drogue systems won't work. An expensive option for the POF is to consider installation of the joint U.S.-India-Israel developed aerial refueling tank system, CARTS, that enable F-16 Viper to work probe and drogue method. Here are the option Philippine Air Force can go for its aerial refueling flying boom method. First, brand new Airbus A330 multi-role tanker transport, MRTT, since this is brand new, it is expected to cost high. A330 MRTT is capable of flying boom, and probe and drogue method. It has higher fuel capacity that allows it to offload more fuel at any given distance than any competitor, and is currently in service with 11 countries. Second, brand new KC-46 Pegasus, just like A330 MRTT, it is expected to cost high. KC-46 Pegasus is capable of flying boom, and probe and drogue method. KC-46 Pegasus is widely in service with the U.S. Air Force that will benefit POF as it can request for parts via Excess Defense article in the near future. Third, refurbished Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker from U.S. Boneyard, POF can ask assistance from U.S. government to acquire and refurbish this aircraft. This option is the same as the recently retired Singaporean Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker, which they acquired from the U.S. Boneyard back in 1996. And lastly, refurbished converted airliner aircraft that will be installed both with articulated boom for flying boom refueling method, and also having the wing mounted drogues for probe and drogue refueling method. Not only are these aircraft used as aerial refueling tankers, but they are also freighters that can carry palletized cargo for military and peacetime operations. It's now up to the Philippine Air Force on when they will be needing such capability based on their modernization program. Originally, the POF has a requirement for at least two to three aerial refueling tanker aircraft under its Horizon 3 modernization phase.